But it's funny because my wife came in excited today. And she's like, listen, there's some lady who had a baby. And then uh, she had menopause, depression, and this and that. So they gave her Zoloft and this, that, this, and that. And all of a sudden, yeah. she started smoking weed. Now she writes a blog, the, yeah. the Potty Mommy or something like that. Potty she, Mommy? Something. She's from <laughs> Studio City or something. She goes, you got to read her stuff. She so I'm gonna check it out. My wife has the name at the house. I kind of want to go and like have. I've heard that you can go and they'll like tell them what's wrong with you and they'll tell you what kind of weed to, to buy listen, for your issue. Explain something. <laughs> you don't have to do that. I can already see what kind of weed you need. <laughs> you need this in the morning. As soon as you wake up, yeah. After you drink your coffee, you drink coffee. Yeah. A little cup of coffee. You get balanced out. You wash yourself. You wash your hair. You get all dolled up. Then you do two, one little bong of this. Just one. Just one out the window. Exhale. All the bad energy that you were thinking about in the shower. Whoever you hate that day, whoever you don't want to see. No hate. Take them out of your life with that exhale. And the first 30 minutes, 40 minutes of your day, they'll be the most creative time you'll ever have in your life. You'll love it so much that you'll make time for that creative domain. I believe it. As in, you have a call at 9, you'll cancel your spot the night before because you'll get up at 5. Because you fell in love with a part of the day that you didn't hmm. know existed. And guess what? There's only one person who lives there. You. Oh, my God. It's the spookiest fucking thing. <laughs> Listen, when you wake up at 4.30, but you set the timer for your coffee for 4.15... And you get up. You get up at 4.15? When I, for me to, when I first started this process, which is writing a blog no matter what on yeah. Monday mornings yeah. on MySpace, when this started, I, I knew I was dead. I knew I had to do something. So worst case scenario, I know plenty of comedy writers that it just got awful. Yeah. I knew I could write. So on Mondays, I started writing a blog. And I would force myself On Mondays, I would write it, but I would start preparing it the day afterward in a notebook. Oh, wow. But All I, week. So how I did it was I'd get up at 4.30, I'd drink a little bit of coffee, I'd smoke a bong hit, I'd make notes, and then I'd walk across the street at 5 a.m. and walk into the YMCA with my mind on fire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is the shit. That and then I, would you work out? I don't drop this on. Would you work people. out? Listen but, to me. Yeah. Why are you getting out of the game? Oh, oh shit. Where's the lighter? <laughs> I'm not ahead. I'm so into this. At five in the morning, when your mind is on a sativa, maybe two or three bong hits too many of you were supposed to do. Yeah. And that sativa actually makes you 400 pounds. Get up, put flip flops on, put a bathing suit on put a hooded sweatshirt on with a t-shirt and I would go across the street I would fucking hang up my jacket I would have a towel and the first thing I would do is I would go in the steam room and throw some eucalyptus in that motherfucker and they'd say don't put the hose on the thermometer listen to me I would bury the hose under the cold water I would make that room go down to 3,000 fucking degrees. You could Oof. cook a turkey in there. And I'd put the eucalyptus in there. And it would open me to fuck up all that phlegm and all that fucking malukia you have in your lungs. <laughs> you just start spitting it out by the chunks. And it would pull the top core of your skin out. All those little minerals that when you go to mm -hmm. in and out Burger and yeah. when you eat somebody's oh, asshole, yeah. they have sodium in their pussy <laughs> or something. You get, and then I would jump. Listen to what I would do. I would take that same hose put it all over me and go into the sauna and I would go back and forth with that sativa mind on fire just trying to remember the jokes and the thoughts and then after I do that for about 20 minutes I'd run out into the pool the heated pool and I'd do laps for like 40 minutes I'd come in I'd do a steam another sauna I'd wash my pussy and I'd walk back my wife wouldn't get up to eight those days so I'd get back around six I gave me two hours yeah. by myself after exercise to write that's You're a young time. girl. You can pull this off. I'm an old man. I can't get up. Heart attacks happen between 6 and 4 12. 4 a.m. Did so, you take naps? Sometimes. But you could get up at 4 and go till your spot at night and stay up. And so you're I would take a nap. You're right. I would take a nap. Like I was going to say that. Nap. I'd be so tired to go an on An hour sleep. and a half nap. Yeah. But I would do that five days a week. 
just to prepare myself to write, to give my, I, I read one of those books by like Spielberg or somebody and they said to give yourself a window. And I go, what a better window to force myself to do two things I hate to do, exercise and write.